Simmel, Messerby, they're cops. Oh great, nothing like reminiscing about that awkward time when you were wearing that press suit and that girl was in a dress she hated and you're all flutter with your hormones. Let's talk about that. With four people who probably never went to their prom. Especially a dude named Harry. He definitely didn't. This picture is on dating. I thought it was on the prom. We are going to follow some of these students as they go on a date and see if their manners have anything to do with their fun. Not like the restraining order they gave us after Everyone the fact. thinks that his own manners are all right, even if they aren't perfect. <laughs> but neither am I. And that being correct only helps to spoil fun. And by fun, I mean boobs. Let us compare what these students do and don't do with what we think is Oh, right. please. These people are 35. They're not in high school. Let's compare ourselves with Margaret. Let's not, because it would or just be shaming her. Or with two fellows who are particularly interested in them. And have the capability of making the film the shake. Prom, semi-formal, is the best dance of the year and is announced early. Says you. Jerry is the shorter of the two. Oh yes, he a whopping half inch. Hesitate, and the time to ask for a date is now. Yes, the early bird gets to bury his worm, so to speak. Margaret, for her part, believes that a girl shouldn't make it difficult for a fellow to ask for a date. That's why her nickname is Hot Lips. Fear of not being asked. Fear or leads fear to of anger. Being refused can ruin our social lives if we let them. Oh yes, and we'll end up in dumpsters behind the convenience store. How do you act? Natural. Do you put banana eat? peels on your head? Twin foil around your crotch. Oh, Answer the name shy. Gunther. Like Frank, do you blurt out invitations? Or do you shove a book Actually, up your ass like he just tried? Receive the invitation. <laughs> I doubt it. Because often girls run away Getting screaming. Dates is not hard if one will act with a bit of courage and show himself to be sincere. Act like the cowardly lion. Works best. A week before the prom, Jerry asks Margaret to help Frank by finding out what Helen intends to wear to the dance. Preferably her under things. But Frank isn't thinking far enough ahead to realize that he will soon be selecting a corsage. So this corsage is where we're going to bury him, huh? And that the corsage should harmonize the color of the dress. Oh, wow, wore. a back alley diner. You take me to all he the best also places. He find out the type of corsage she prefers. Just so long as she doesn't get stabbed in the chest, I think she'll be happy with it. She she wants something big and gaudy and the size of a Buick. Spring flowers, an orchid once, camellias. You have funny, weird she words for weed. Been dating for a long while. She appreciates the good taste he has shown in choosing flowers that suited her dress and complexion. It helps to actually know a person before doing stupid wrist, shit like this. Or in the hair is a matter of preference. <laughs> We're so white and happy at dating. When Frank finally asks Helen about her, what do you like, boy? As he spits food all over her chest. All types of corsages and all flowers, except gardenias. Wait, gardenias are the things that the Beastie Boys rapped about, right? For their double date are also talked over. We fade it out here because it's boring as hell. The night of the prom, Frank is glad that the dance is semi-formal. Because he could only assault one homeless man optional. for that jacket. But even with a dark business suit, so Jerry insists, the color of the tie should be conservative. What, you want to make him a Republican? Socks should match the tie, not clash with it. Yeah, the curtain should Please match the, the drapes, asshole. A dignified occasion requires dignified clothes. But these kids are hardly dignified. Plus, this one's got a second a mortgage. Of convention, men wear dark clothing at formal or semi -formal My God, Argyle socks. What the hell were you thinking? To be more I should drag you out behind the house and shoot you. This tie may not seem conservative by your standards, but it seems to be the mildest. That Frank prefers owns. the styles of Weird Al Yankovic. Perhaps for the next dance, he will buy a quieter pattern. Something that won't compete with the colors he expects the girl to Or wear. just the fact that that's too goddamn yeah, loud, period. He'll be showing consideration for her. A gesture of friendliness. And that is what etiquette really is. Doing unto others as you would have them do unto you. You know, paw and grope them. Man, you are ugly. Correctness in dress, like other matters of etiquette, is something which has to be learned. Oh dear, you gotta he wear something to slimming. That makes you look like a two-bit whore. I only raised four-bit whores. 
Of course, women usually receive more training than men in the etiquette of dress because of its importance to their appearing always to best advantage. May I ask why? But girls have their problems just as fellows do. And but they don't they have boners. Taste may not be. He what? On LSD, no less! Oh, get and out of here. Everyone thinks that what he or she likes should be considered correct. They're wrong, of course. Most girls are inclined to overdress. Even the word of parents is not always accepted. Man, I look better in that dress than she Mother does. Is called old-fashioned. That's 40s talk for prude bitch. But Margaret will take Helen's word for it. <laughs> because she doesn't she really want to hurt her friend's ones. feelings. Simplicity is always the safest policy in Yes, ornament. don't look like a goddamn Christmas tree at prom. The of dress for an occasion includes not Didn't only you say the fornication? gown and slippers... But the hairdo and the accessories, the jewelry, and, yes, the face makeup. Yes, pile it all on! The rules are simple, logical, and easy to remember. Don't let people and recognize the real important. you. I feel a zit coming on. Frank doesn't look happy. Because his alimony's past due. But how much of his fearfulness is actually a lack of confidence in his manners? Or his dark, awkward boner secret? His unsureness he didn't even turn there. Interfering with his enjoyment of the date. Damn it, Frank, that was my leg, not the parking brake. What? That's how I always called my ex-wife. And to escort her out is really not shyness, but a sign that his manners are weak. Who are you calling weak, bud? Oh, goody, the pizza delivery he boy is here, and he's all dressed up. How to meet people easily. <laughs> As the film shudders. Helen tries to introduce him first to her mother, who was risen What, are your parents going to the prom, too? What the hell's with this look? Always introduced first, and they may also What's wrong with just walking around in jogging pants at the end of the day? You call that a handshake? My God, it was a cold, dead fish. Frank forgot that he should present the corsage to Helen. Frank's an idiot. So that she may put it on there if she prefers. Well, I, I brought you a dead rat in head. my funeral box if that's cool. You want to strap it on your Notice dress now Jerry or later? Acknowledges the introduction to Helen's mother with a nod. Ah, here's a real strapping young lad, not like this idiot sitting in the corner. Frank shouldn't open the corsage box. Oh, why couldn't my daughter find someone like you? Oh look, dead birds. They're Since so beautiful. Helen does not wish to put the flower on now. Frank should take care of it and see that it is not damaged. Otherwise, this whole but prom is ruined. For assisting Helen with her rap. Excuse me? What is Helen's she a pita? Are glad to have met the boys with whom she is going out. And on be the good with my daughter. If I see one thing out of place, you're place. both dead. Good manners never interfere with. <laughs> uh oh, someone's playing bad. ski jumper. Habits of correctness are just as easy to learn as bad habits. Shut the door! God! Where were you raising a barn? Of allowing one always to be at ease. Meanwhile, the Gary neighbor dog runs through and destroys all the petunias. However, the ease with which he Wow, she aged really quick. Based on his genuine interest in other people and what they You are know, like. this is really cool. It's called reading. Meanwhile, One day I'll show you how to do it. Frank is laboring to interest Helen in what is his. Not her chief interest. Oh, yeah, that's uh, great. Curling, that's quite a sport. Margaret is careful not to keep Jerry waiting. I kept it warm she for you, honey. believe that keeping a fellow waiting a long time will allow her a more dramatic entrance and thus increase his interest. Yes, drama equals right. harder it's boners. The charm of her personality to hold his attention, not upon little games. It's a girl! He Jerry should be fascinated be off the bat! At all times. Uh, more phone calls for you, dear. Jesus, when are they going to invent Twitter? The phone call is from one of those fellows who wait until the very last minute to try making what a... What the hell? What were you Jerry thinking waiting until, like, 20 minutes it. prior to the damn thing? Margaret is gracious, of course, but brief. Sorry, Before Bucko. You, you struck out. For a date. I've got a winner, and he's five foot three. already received an invitation. Besides, a lot of the fun in dating is in the anticipation. Like ripping her dress off at the end of the night. in their fun. Be good, dear, and remember the safe but word before Frank coming into the house Margaret is tomato. Problems with conversation. Margaret has tried to talk about the dates she has had with other fellows. She oh yeah, that must really make Frank happy. Irritate rather than interest. Perhaps God, I'm gonna drive off a cliff. Hope, the dance will furnish better topics. Now they have arrived. Is this a prom or a funeral? Lies ahead. 
Uh, what a dump. Hey, 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 leave some space for the Holy Ghost there, buddy. Are intended for enjoyment, and the rules of etiquette Except if you're a wallflower. Are again, customs which have grown out of one person's anticipating the wishes and feelings of others. And when you get to put your hands on that sweet, sweet ass. Come on, man. We got him here. Let's go get a smoke. Because she got it fresh from Subway. Oh, God. If these people dance any whiter, they'd be albino ghosts. That's 40s talk for hitting the cocaine. Yes, because women walking alone is just so shameful. Yeah, look, I just got to second base. God, when is this going to end? Ah, oh, shit. The teachers are chaperoning. This In is going to be depressing as hell. Offices, Margaret isn't always as aware as she should be of Jerry's attempts to escort her smoothly. Jerry, Jerry, Jerry. Jesus Christ. Dr. Frank realized that his awkwardness, in contrast to Jerry, is due to his... Not Jesus, if you love Jerry so much, why don't you marry his ass? learn the simple rules in a hurry. Introduce a man to a woman, to an older woman, a younger man... And make man sure that you introduce your cousin, your lawyer, the and the guy who puts in your cable. Is shown is always mentioned first. Who are you? Who Do I care? Do I know you from anywhere? Uh, not familiar. You smell like patchouli oil. You smell like death. Most of the time, it's the remarks about crow's feet in their eyes. After greeting the sponsors... The first thing that Jerry sees too is that they select a rendezvous so that they will have a definite place during the evening for meeting after dance. Make sure you find the least semen stained couch to sit on. Then they begin filling in their dance program. Oh, yeah, that's right. Back in the day, they used to do that. When programs are filled out in advance, it's like playlists for dancing. After having Hi, dances, I'm Junior. The I'm 25 and only in my first film. marriage. Here is my side trim. Jesus Christ, he's dancing with a mannequin. What was the purpose of that whole shot? Oh, someone didn't pay attention to the socks thing. Oh, uh, yeah, I'm going to be dancing the soles off my shoes tonight. Hi. I have my hand on your knee. Would you dance with me? Sure. <laughs> no, you're weird. Am I going to get any attention tonight, dear? Shut up, side trim. So, uh, it is not a market why is your dance book empty? Dancing the entire evening by themselves. So, uh, well, after a while, they weed anybody? And then each <laughs> Awkward silence is so weird. And Barbara Bush dance. disapproves! It is customary, though, for a couple to reserve for themselves the first and last dance. Because, really, Frank, dancing back in the 40s out. was a lot like unprotected sex. God only knows what you'd get. Now that they have gotten to dancing. Let's hope that their troubles are over. Is that and dancing or awkward humping? You decide. However, let us watch to see if their enjoyment depends in Okay, why is the narrator screaming? <laughs> Please, don't let me go. I don't want to dance with anybody else. God. That's right, I still got this mannequin and she's still smiling. Oh, when are they going to start the mosh pit, Henry? I really want to get this slam dance going. Hey, could you put on some Motorhead? Maniac on the floor, and I'm dancing like I never danced before. Oh, you're almost human, Frank. Jesus. It's so wonderful. When are we going to get married? We've been on five dates. That should be enough, right? I'm really, really white, playing jazz piano. Here I go. Oh, come on, you're just jiggling into her boobs. Oh, I crave the sweet release of death. Please. Uh, yeah, I'm still here, hitting the damn ivories. Hot damn. Are you dancing or are you trying to hump me, you weirdo? Yeah, yatta da yatta da yatta da you too. You know, some of this fresh meat looks damn good. Let's get it. Honey, do you like it when I bury my nose in your eyeballs? No, Frank. Oh, what are you doing? You Frank! You're done, Frank. We're done, Frank. Get the hell out of my face. 
It's over, Frank. Getting jealous? They're only enjoying themselves. Oh, that two-timer! He's dead to me! Next they'll be having sex on the dance floor, for God's sakes! <laughs> God, I really like you. You have personality on like Frank. Y you know, maybe if I ate her head, this would be a better conversation. So, is there any vodka in this punch or not? <laughs> That's utter crap. So long. It's nice being white. Keep trying, Frank. So, uh, you're a girl, huh? What's that like? <laughs> uh, you're so much more fun than that wood plank I decided to take to this prom. Frank, you're wrong. She hasn't lost interest. In <sighs> but she wish she had. Jesus, you squint any harder? You think you're gonna x-ray vision, lady? It's foolish to be jealous. <laughs> but it's damn fun! Alright, again, that's just humping, dude. It's your own fun, you're Yeah, spoiling. Jerry is apparently a player. You're not, Frank. You know, if you keep on jiggling like this, I'm gonna orgasm for the third time! You were really cutting the rug there, son. The Damn, I wish I had your mad skills. Oh, so night. long, children. Everyone have a beautiful night. A and time, remember, don't go to third base. It's a deadly slide. The dancing hasn't worked out as he and Margaret hoped. <laughs> that means he bombed. They have allowed Frank and Still Margaret dancing with that jump. damn mannequin, son. I applaud your faith and persistence. Margaret made the mistake of trying to be too entertaining. Frank no, Margaret made the mistake of agreeing to go to this date. People never like to blame themselves, so they blame others. Because it's so much All easier, and besides, fuck them! Learn how to be natural and talk of what so are you, like, going to the hotel room to bang, or what? Ah, uh, close Meanwhile, second. Dive. A good deal of the fun has gone out of the evening. <laughs> I mean, look where they're eating. Even though Margaret pretends that nothing has happened. And oh, you're not getting a hand job tonight, mister. I'm telling you what. Naturally, and suddenly the waiter makes the earth shake. But that is usually the long and the hard way. Being hurt so often... Dude, you can't say long and hard during a prom! Dude! Tact! And that these no. Be studied. I want some bourbon. Hell, give me straight scotch right food. now. Compare it with what is proper. But I really want some cod. Jerry's example in suggesting to Margaret a dish that she might like is one that Frank might follow. <laughs> Why? Let her think for herself, goddammit! Jerry ain't shit, alright? As he finally realized... Oh, you, uh, you, you might want to nice split way, this, uh, Harry Shepard's pie with me. Sound like a good idea, huh? Sure, whatever. God, I want this date to end so bad. This is all yeah, so great and so fantastic. And I want to put the razors time. across my wrists. He what? The situation. What do you mean I'm not perfect? What the, the fuck are you saying, boy? Man, I'm gonna bitch slap all of you! What do you mean by that? Look, I'm bored. Can we go home? Oh shit, why? Okay, that's it. You're forgiven. Hand jobs are back on tonight. You know, you really are an asshole. Excuse me, sir. We know you're 45 and you're claiming to be in high school, but that does not give you the right to order from the kids' menu. We have standards here, and you're not going to be a cheapskate during your fucking prom date. Well, that was great. That was a whole lot better than the fucking prom date we just had. The narrator just had a heart palpitation. And those that haven't yet been discovered will come to light as they pay more attention to their manners. Uh-huh. But already they have learned some valuable lessons. Never go on another date with each other. He has learned to begin with that he shouldn't let his fears stop him from asking for the date. In you the gotta eat way. this now. And well, fine, you eat this. Right away, not Man, right do you know how hard it is to swallow a ten-dollar bill? He is glad now that he learned a paper cuts alone hurt! Corsage ...and about how he should dress. But why bother? Because next year he'll be out in the workforce and never worry about getting around a woman again. He has still to learn how to be easy during introductions and in making ordinary conversations. But you saw that he was quick to... With anybody or anything. Tip. Because remember, his best friend is a rock. 
Again with the rap. What is with the rap? No problems. They are happy in knowing that this is just the beginning of happy times ahead. And the long-lasting road of regret and crippling depression. Jerry not only sees Margaret home, but opens the door for And her. makes sure it smacks her on the ass on the way in. Oh my God! That was pornographic for 1946! Are you mad? You know, I'm really tired of doing this double hand job thing. Should he try on a first date? He makes certain that he helps Helen from the car correctly. I love this day for night filter. To come around the car. He sees her to her door and thanks her for having gone out. And jams her through the mail slot. I never want to see you again. I'm repulsed by your touch. Get the hell away from me! Oh, he should not try to kiss her goodnight. Because she's going to throw up involuntarily down your throat. Another date soon. Again, Helen don't touch me. To I'm calling the so police the restraining order to tomorrow. Our ending is only a beginning of other dates to follow. But this will probably end with a massive crash off a bridge. Oh, really? I was just starting to have fun with this! Son of a bitch.